Good morning and welcome to Kid News, generously sponsored today by the Brady family of Springfield, Pennsylvania. Today is Monday, April 5th, 2021, and we begin with an eighth grader playing tooth fairy to a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Jonathan Charpentier was hiking in Boulder County, Colorado, when something shiny caught his eye. He didn't think much of it, though, until later when he washed off the dirt and realized this was no rock. Jonathan turned it over to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science for a closer look, only to be told that his find was indeed the pearly white of a prehistoric that roamed the Earth 68 million years ago. And where there's a tooth, there's probably more. Curators from the museum intend to head back out to Ground Zero, likely with Jonathan, to see if they can find and dig up the rest of the T-Rex. The stage is set for the biggest game in the big dance. Tonight, the Baylor Bears face off against the Gonzaga Bulldogs for the Men's National College Basketball Championship. The Zags are the hands-down favorites, but it took one of the greatest moments in March Madness history to get them there. An overtime half-court bank shot buzzer beater from a freshman and a nail-biter with UCLA. Gonzaga hasn't lost a game all year, and if it wins tonight, will become the first undefeated men's champion since Indiana in 1976. On the women's side, the victor has already been crowned. And it was a close one. Last night, the Stanford Cardinal beat the Arizona Wildcats 54-53 to claim their first national championship since 1992. Mummies were on the move this weekend in Egypt. On Saturday, 22 of them rolled through downtown Cairo in a dazzling display called the Pharaoh's Golden Parade. The glitzy affair was responsible for getting 18 kings and four queens from the Egyptian Museum, where they've lived for more than 100 years, to the new National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, opening later this month. Lined up in order of their rule, each mummy rode out the three-mile tour in style, carried in gilded, airtight, shock-absorbing vehicles. The picturesque procession was greeted by crowds, flashing lights, and a military drumline. The rulers will now live in the Royal Hall of Mummies. Officials are hoping their new digs will jumpstart tourism after a long pandemic dry spell. The travel dry spell may be ending in the U.S. The CDC says fully vaccinated Americans can now move about the U.S. still with masks, but pretty much without worry. If the latest numbers from the TSA are any indication, they already are. On Friday, just under 1.6 million air passengers passed through security, a new daily high since the pandemic began. The record number of travelers came on the same day as a record number of shots. According to the government, more than 4 million Americans received a COVID vaccine Friday, the most on a single day to date. Cornell kids might want to line up. The university just followed Rutgers' lead and said come fall, all students and staff will need to be vaccinated before showing up on campus. The All-Star Game is in search of a new home. Major League Baseball just pulled the Midsummer Classic out of Georgia to protest the state's new voting rules, and as of this recording, no new location has been announced. The controversial changes for voting include requiring photo IDs for mail-in ballots and not allowing organizations to bring food or water to people waiting in lines. The league and big Atlanta-based companies like Delta and Coca-Cola don't like the new rules. They say voting will be harder, especially for minorities. Supporters disagree and believe the changes make the process more fair. One thing that's not up for debate, the impact to Georgia's bank account. According to one estimate, losing the game and all the fans that would come and spend money will cost state and local businesses about $100 million. In other Kid News notes, an unopened Super Mario game that was bought in 1986 but sat forgotten in a desk drawer just sold for a record-setting, mind-blowing $660,000. The auction house behind the sale says finding another copy from the same production run in similar condition would be like looking for a single drop of water in an ocean. That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News Quiz. 
How old was the T-Rex tooth found by a Colorado 8th grader? About 68 million years. Who plays in tonight's men's college basketball championship? Gonzaga and Baylor. Why did Egypt host a mummy parade over the weekend? To get them to a new museum. Why did Major League Baseball pull the All-Star game out of Georgia? Because of the state's new voting laws. In one for the road. There's virtually no chance an asteroid will hit Earth any time in the next hundred years, but that doesn't mean NASA isn't planning for it. Next summer, the agency is launching a satellite that it will use to stop an incoming foreign object by slamming into it head first. The high-flying experiment is called DART, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. DART's first target is the smaller of two moons in the asteroid system Didymos, the satellite will make impact at a speed of 4 miles per second, and if it's successful at knocking one of the rocks away from the other, scientists say they'll know whether this is a realistic way to save Earth if and when it's needed. Before we go, we want to salute our Kid News teachers in their classrooms, starting with Mrs. Bodie at Easy Cooper Learning Center in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Mr. K at Maryvale Prep in Lutherville, Maryland, where Maryvale technology rocks. Ms. Street and her devoted listeners at Hale Cook in Kansas City, Missouri. Awesome Mr. Ostrander at Grand Blank Middle in Grand Blank, Michigan. And Mrs. Jennings at Portland Estates in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Thanks for listening. Please rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning. <laughs>